I'm just having a little video. My name is Sophia. It's for all those who are experiencing the awakening, AKA, you know, you got your spirit back, you're feeling all right, you're making it through quarantine, you start thinking about things. Now, if you ended up on this video, it's because you started to look up Atlantis, ancient Egypt, light beings, Lemuria, movies, music, or Queen Mew. It's one big circle. So this is just like a look up all these things and just realize that Mew is spelled M-U. Just like your lips are M-U. M-U makes lips, right? I'm not a really great drawer, but you get it. Your lips, M-U, Queen Mew, which means communication is important when you have the awakening. If you're not communicating in the right language or by language, or you're not thinking positive thoughts, you're not trying to manifest your destiny, then you're probably not using the power of light beings or in ancient Egypt. So my first homework would be, go look up Queen Mew on YouTube. Go look up, you know, how movies and music and telecommunications and phones and telecommunications with your, you know, you have a dream maybe, then the next day you meet someone and you're like, hey, I just dream about you. And it's like the love of your life and you get married. Cinderella story, right? Who knows? What I do know is that once you figure out Queen Mew and all things associated with light beings and angels and carbon and melanin and whatever else you're going through, this is going to help you. Because there's something called Merkaba. Merkaba, Merkaba, it's however you pronounce it. So basically, what happens with Merkaba is when you reach that Merkaba awakening, you're pretty much going to awaken your soul. You're going to have a Kundalini experience, which is a Kundalini awakening. People might say, you're crazy. You don't sound like a normal person. No, it's because you just awoken your Awakening. Now go Google Merkaba, Kundalini, Queen Mew, Lemuria, White Beans, Ancient Egypt. My daughter's back here and she's just over here. Just if you want to meet her, come on in, girl. She's just gonna keep talking because she's like, Mommy, could I tell everybody about the video? Come on, girl. She's in like every video because she's always around, you know. My kids, come here. Say hi, Aaliyah. Say hello. How old are you? Three, four? I don't even remember. Did you four or three? I don't even remember. It's been that long. So I left off talking about the Kundalini experience. So basically, Kundalini is when you awaken your sense down here, the chakra down there. Don't awaken your ish without a teacher. Kundalini, Dalini, Dalini, Dalini. So basically, true love is awakened when you get to Kundalini or self love. So when you start to ask questions and you end up at this video and you're like, hey, oh my God, I found this cool girl talking about some weird stuff I've been experiencing, like Kundalini Awakening or about like seeing movies and listening to music and be like, it's really touching me inside my heart. Like how they know me like that. It's because certain music and certain movies does touch you. And when you start to question what is your purpose in life, what you want to do with yourself, are you here for money? Are you here for your kids? Are you here for you? Did you find true love? You start to be like, God, give me some answers. The universe always answers you, but a lot of us don't know how to even connect with the universe. We can't converse. So Queen Mew, basically, that's the first queen of Egypt. Go look her up. It's like metaphorically, she's from Lemuria, which is the light beings. And basically it's just music and movies, which is your lips, which is M-U, which is Mew. So with communication, communication, see how they go, communication? There's a Kundalini. Kundalini looks like a V, like a VJJ. And it's about true love, true love for yourself, true love for somebody else. That's why a lot of times, you know, they might take the male out of a family systematically to get rid of that Kundalini experience. Because once you have children, kids, finances, life insurance, a piece of property, you're enjoying your life, you love your job, you're pretty much you're gonna reach Kundalini 
and then there's energies that see your light and then they want to kind of attack it and it's like universal energies like it'd be a random person want to ruin your day at mcdonald's you have to take yourself in and be like oh, they don't know me i'm shining bright and they're probably having a bad day and they haven't had their kundalini awakening so when you ask for the extra mcdonald's you know ketchup barbecue sauce but you shouldn't be eating at mcdonald's but i do because you know i'm already awakened and i you know but i try anyways long story so when you eat your fruits and veggies just know that don't get mad at the people you're interacting with because they don't know you it's just the energy trying to dampen your mood and that's how the energy inside of you will get lowered so go look up the kundalini awakening and all that you'll find out more with more videos on youtube um with that being said if you awaken it without a teacher it's dangerous if you are like oblivious that the world actually has like a another universe inside the universe then you're gonna be like wow all those scary movies and all those sci-fi i thought it was just the movies and music and you know colonizers are like oh that voodoo hoodoo that sci-fi is not possible no them the colonizers have been trying to make it possible for so long that science is almost like magic and people are being treated like they're computers and robots and zombies and they want bill gates to go take care of a health crisis because he works with Watson Health and they're creating a whole, you know, computerized system taking care of people's DNA and health problems. But we're people, so we have energy fields. So that's rodeo field we have protects us in about six feet probably, which is probably why you have to protect yourself and stay away six feet from people. Cause COVID-19 or your energy level, your Toronto field is gonna touch people. Now, when you're walking in a great energy field and you meet 10 other people that are in your energy field, you create a large energy field. And that's scary when you have a whole bunch of people that are enlightened, that are not, you know, sad, they're happy, they're with their lovers, they have the great jobs, they're of melanin colors and other colors, it doesn't really matter. Cause some people look white, blind hair, blue eyes, but you'd be like, you black though? And they'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, that's why you can't discriminate. Cause you really don't know who's black just based on their color. It's black is chem. Kemet, ancient Kemet, it means black. Kem in Creole means your heart. So a black heart, like it just means, you know, you love from inside. It's like the darkness comes to light. So the black sun, Anubis, look it all up. Either way, when you are in a serodial field of six feet or more, you are touching people. Your energy is touching people. Your smile is touching people. This right here, this movement, it creates a movement. When you talk and you do this, see your lips are moving. See my um, finger? I kiss, it moves. If I say certain things, it's a stronger movement. If I say lizard, lizard, it's touching my finger, lizard. Ah, ah, A, B, C. You know, so the way you move your lips, if you cover with the mask, you can't, you're stopping the movement. It's like shutting a door on your energy field. It's shutting a door on your whole vibration. So yeah, wear a mask, stay six feet apart because your vibrations are traveling with your lips and with your energy field. So you do this, you can't read lips. Queen Mute is unavailable. You know, so she has to use her eyes and be like, hey, it's me, you know, smile. Do you have to smile? But if you don't pronounce your words, then people will be like, what did you say? You're like, I said, and there goes COVID in your mouth. Anyways, so there's different ways to think about COVID-19 and energy fields and what they're trying to display, and then like they say hot spots. What are hot spots? Cellular phones have hot spots. So we have hot spots, and we have a computer guy taking care of the hot spots, and you know. But we are cellular beings. We do have a terrestrial field to protect us. So 5G, yes, we've had 5G this whole time, absolutely. But with 5G, it was always, you know, your phone, you know, radiation level small, whatever. But when you talk about 5G, Space Force, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos 5G, that's like 5G where they go to the military members and be like, hey, you in the middle of nowhere in, in East Bumble, whatever, wherever, Middle East, we need to communicate with your brain directly. So let's get a toroidal field signature on you. That way we can send our signature directly to your brain. Okay, when you do that, don't you think that signal is going to go to places? I mean, it's not. sometimes it just go to that one specific person. That person may be linked to their mother, their father. They might be linked to me because our DNA is linked together, you know? Like, 
these people study our energy fields. They've been studying ancient Egypt. Egyptology is like a science. So you'd be like, why are you studying them if you, you know, like what's going on? You guys are like the leaders, but you're studying old ancient people and the first ancients were melanin people. So you, what? So when you go to Egyptology, you find out a lot of things. So they always like to study these mummies. These mummies have DNA. So you look up the DNA in that, you figure out what they did. Then you try to figure out the science behind how they made the pyramids. Magnetic fields, about like how s smart they became. Like how, how are they smart? What do they do? Why can't we do it? We can with science. Science was made to help people to progress so you can enjoy your life. Science is fun, science is great. But spirituality is also strong. So, you know, a lot of those same colonizers go to Africa, West Africa, and study old African villages. They want to find out what they think. Because when they find out what they think, they find out in science that they were right. So they'd be like, oh my God, these people know things without even a computer. Because this is the original computer. So back to the kundu, 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 I can't even talk. Kundalini and awakening with that. You know, a teacher is dangerous. So I happened to awaken my kundalini one time. It was dangerous. I'll tell you that story another time. But for now is, if you go on YouTube and you watch videos, I'm going to send a link or put maybe some links up here or below about YouTube videos I watched because I didn't have a teacher to teach me that voodoo, hoodoo, radiation, toroidal fields, what you eat, fake food, processed food, vaccines, all the things that you think that, you know, there are good people running the world, so maybe they're not gonna try to kill me with the food, but not so much. Vaccines and food and all that stuff is kinda, keep your kundalini quiet. That's why shamans and priestess, you don't really hear about them. And if you do, they probably don't even know they are. They're probably in a mental ward, drugged up. are people who with spiritual energies that are high because everybody has gifts some people sing some people act some people computer science guitar music whatever it is you have a gift some people don't even know what the gifts are because sometimes you have that spiritual gift but because people have decided you know it's churchology and not spirituality churchology not christian christianity or whatever it's a religionology it's not like like no one body no one mind no one self and look inside your temple and these are the true things that you can absolutely do but there's this invisible wall you have to fight but if you don't know it's there you think you're living a great life you have your money you know you know what you want to do you're happy but then you're looking like wait a minute i gotta confront the demons inside me when i confront my kundalini awakening like yeah you can't get there until you actually pass the barriers of whatever fear you have inside or anger so always try to awaken yourself but have a teacher so before you try to be all eating vegetarian and you know take out the meat start reading books start reading the book of the dead start finding gnostic bibles like the one i found with my favorite story called pistis sophia which is why i picked the name pistis sophia because that woman was bad biatch because she is basically jesus christ's wife right she was stuck somewhere in the 13 eons like 13 billion years later and she's trying to fight for her life jesus is like yo they got my girl down there you know what i'm saying let me go pick her up and get her on this level with us because she's down here because these crazy archons or devilish people are holding her down which is just femininity femininity is being held down knowledge wisdom sophia means wisdom 
wisdom of thyself, wisdom of the universe. It's being held down because other people want to hold that wisdom and control what they want to control for their own benefits, which if everybody is happy, then how do you kind of like make people work for you when they don't even like their job, they're just doing it for the money. Some people love their jobs, absolutely. If you have a business or you like to work in an office, anything you do that makes you happy, that makes you have a purpose is okay. So whatever it is, my job was to try to help people who are going through their awakening by eating right, you know, reading about things, asking questions and not just saying, because the government and the church said so, why do they say so? I'm like a child, but why? But, but why, why, why do they say that? Oh, that don't make sense. So you're telling me God's gonna come and fly down here and save everybody. What? So you're telling me that all these children who are kidnapped, molested, killed, and all these adults who are murdered, raped, and tortured, like they're gonna be confused. They're gonna be like, why didn't they save me, mommy? Why are we poor? Why don't we have a daddy? Or why did I get killed and I'm a good person? You make moral decisions, you're a good person. You're like, but they didn't help me. It's because the energy field is like one universal energy field and we awaken our Kundalini, snake true love, and we use the energy of the power of the sun, which is the real sun, and the energy comes into you. So like when you see a sun, you see the rays go through some water, it creates a, it creates a rainbow. If you stand on one side of the water, you might not see the rainbow. If you stand on this side of the water, you see the rainbow. So not everybody could see what everybody else sees. So what to me is like, oh, that's easy. Spirituality 101 is so easy to me, makes sense. I understand how people can say they see ghosts and they see them or they can feel things or they can feel energy fields that I cannot. Because I can't sing, doesn't mean people can't sing. I can't figure out a computer system, but it doesn't mean someone else can't. I, like there are like, I wear glasses, right? Which means I don't see the same way someone else sees. So when someone expects people to say, you know, that doesn't make sense, you sound crazy, you know. That's not true because the government said so or because the church said so. Go read a book, do some research, I mean, get a degree in Scientology or whatever you want to study and then come back with you know something that makes sense to you because you're a movie star in your own movie. Anyways, back to shamans and priests. Nowadays, they keep shamans and priests out of the picture, either on medication or in the psych ward or just shut up, you're quiet, be quiet, it's not true. But now all things are coming out that are true. In 2020, there is signs like magic and people try to warn people like, hey, they're trying to like read your minds and you know, they're trying to make you guys into like people that just work, 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 work. And still there's not enough money because they keep raising the prices. But people are like, no, that's not true. It's just you. Or they killed that, you know, melanated person in the car for a ticket, but he was resisting until it turns into you. And you're like, oh my God, I wasn't reaching. I was dressed like this. And they thought I was a, a revolutionary person and they gave me a hard time. I just said, why? And then I got my keys and I got killed. So all the bandwagon, well, he was doing his job. If you're scared of melanated people, maybe you shouldn't be, you know, working with melanated people in the police officer setting because you are going to be scared of me and I'm not that scary unless you want to bring out that other girl, but you ain't going to see her. All right. So basically, um, just look up Queen Mew, movies and music, Lemuria, Light Beings, Ancient Egypt, Atlantis, Kundalini Awakening, which is the snake, which is the latent female energy believed to lie coiled at the base of the spine. So like, you know, your spine and your head, that's like your whole central nervous system, you know. So when they have the sphere and the little head thing in Egypt, they're always holding it. They're like, yeah, we're gonna get you with the sphere and the swan. That's like your central nervous system. That's your spine and your head. Those things are important to be in line. And sometimes if, you know, you don't know about certain things, you let a doctor tell you that Nothing's wrong with you. Here's some antidepressants. Go chill out. No, there's things you could do to actually fix your body. So in other videos, I'll have, you know, eating right or asking the right questions at a doctor, what minerals to check, you know, like I have alpha thalassemia. I have small red blood cells. So I know that I, my blood is very oxidized. So I need a lot of vitamin E. I need sleep because I don't sleep at night. I had a sleep study done and I need more sleep than others because I don't sleep a lot at night whatever is going on so I got a little nose surgery that get rid of the little polyps that are really big and makes you breathe better at night and you don't have to use nothing for your nose and you can breathe better so I had to research a lot I had to fight with doctors doctors will say you're fine nothing's wrong with you they're not paid to make us better they made 
they're paid to create better robots and to work for companies. They're not paid to help you. Go to a holistic doctor if you could afford it. If not, you know, find ways to get the information through people, groups, and everything. So I hope you learned a lot so far from Merkabas to Kundalini's. I'm gonna go ahead and do a video about where I got this information from, like um, who were great teachers, like Dr. Sebi, Phil Valentine is a page I go to, um, Magic 363, Black Magic 363. Um, there is Ralph Smart. There's a lot of videos that you can watch and it's coming from our people, our people that are with our people and just information. Anybody can know this information, but it's how you decipher the information. It's what you do with it for you. You're a movie star in your own movie, so there's no competition. It's just you. You have to take care of you. You have to take care of your kids. You have to take care of your toroidal field. If you take care of yours and then your children and your husbands, if you have one, or your lover, or if they're not ready for that, let them alone. And you move on to take care of yourself, then you could have energy to help people. And how that happens is you create energy to attract your same energy and say, I don't have time to do something, but my sister has time to do it, or my friend has time to do it. We create a network of people that are doing the work based on their specific, you know, talents. So my talent is, you know, telling people about music and movies, which I will show more later. But like, I, I like to talk. You know, my sister likes to work out and eat healthy. So she'd be like, girl, put them french fries down. I'd be like, all right, just the one. I can't, I ate an avocado, please. I took the vitamins. And she leaves me alone. So everybody works out what they need to work out to make them a better them. So these are some people that I have listened to that you don't always have to agree with what they're doing, but they have a lot of information that your brain needs answers. And if you're expecting the answers from colonizers, yeah, probably not going to get them. So, and sometimes randomly melanated people will say like, we'll rap something, right? They'll do a whole rap. And you'd be like, that was dope. It talked to me. You don't even know what they said. Sometimes they'd be like, hey, yo, you want some yacht? You know, and then you're your robot. You didn't know it's in your DNA. You're like, yo, why, does, yo, why am I saying yo all the time? Because your robot people are, you know, are like, yo, what do these things mean? Like SOS in any other language is SOS, which means save our souls, which is like, you know, Mayday when you're sinking on a ship or you need help. But SOS in Yoruba means B. It says B-E. I don't know how to pronounce it, but my DNA is Yoruba. So I'm like, what? Bees? Oh, the beehive? Oh, Beyonce? Oh, wait a minute. Back up. What did they say? So like basically when they try to colonize ants, they colonize bees. They colonize people and land. So they use words and you're talking and rappers are making up raps and they're including words that are in their brain and they don't... They don't know they're enlightening me and I don't have to think about why SOS is a beat. Like, that's how random it is. So, YouTube, Black Magic 363 with the K, Lance Skurve, Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters, Dr. Sebi, Dr. Phil Valentine, Dr. Layla Africa. I don't know if that's with the K or a C. Uh, Dr. Uman Johnson. So, yeah, some people will talk about all these people, but I promise you they have a lot of information. They've researched, they've seen. They might have opinions that you don't agree on. Like, he said the only black people need to be black people, my wife white. But he is saying some other information in there that's actually important to you being black and your wife marrying you. I mean, regardless of what you think about their personal thoughts, like, regardless of what you think about me and what I personally eat, my french fries or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like I'm trying to like help you awaken that inner mind. And if you're on this video and you're listening, it's because maybe I talk your language. If you're like, this bitch is crazy. I really don't care because when I needed to find out this information, this is, this is where I got it from. I didn't, all my years of going to college, two master's degrees, almost a PhD, you know, taking up studies, healthcare administration, public administration, trying to work for the CD, CDC, my own businesses, had stores, I had a magazine, I have a magazine now, Pink Gloss Magazine. So like with all the information, I still didn't know what these guys were talking about. I still didn't understand that science these days is almost like magic. And a lot of the stuff they learned are from learning about ancient people, which include our DNA. Like my DNA is from an ancient mummy that I found out, it's like two brothers talk about that in another video but they're ancient mummies that were priests and they would report to the pharaoh and tell them what the future was so when i started feeling energy i'm like where is this coming from why do i have this energy and why is it here all of a sudden you know like what's going on in the atmosphere where i feel this kundalini awakening why do i feel connected to the universe oh 
because something called the black sun. What's the black sun? Anubis, but it's a metaphor. So the sun, magnetic field, is all science, but in Egyptianology, Egyptology, whatever, it is all basically together and they make metaphors so you understand the real world. So when they say Isis, they'd be like, oh, during this time in the astrology of the Isis constellation, this thing's happened. This type of energy comes out. So if you're born during, what, May 21 or whatever, whatever it is, you're this type of sign, which is a Taurus. Now you're Isis. And then you'd be like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Wow, who was Isis? And why did they name it in 1999? Isis is a terrorist group. So we could not say Isis. And I was like, who is she? She's like the queen of Egypt, like the goddess. And then you start looking deeper and you're like, so there's 13 astrology signs, not 12. So the 12 were based on the sun, but the 13 is actually more accurate. So look up the 13 astrology signs. Then you look up when Isis Taurus comes up. Then you're like, so who else is Isis Taurus? And you start looking up like Malcolm X, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, and looking like, um, you know, who else was there? Uh, left Eye, I don't know. Some of those people, you Google their birthdays and you'd be like, why do y'all happen to be Isis? Good for you. Listen to what moves your spirit, what your soul is, and please try to ignore personal feelings about these people and just look at the information and then use that towards your own journey in life. So thanks for listening. It was great. I feel like I was in the room with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just dancing. All right. Enjoy the rest of my videos and have a good day.